click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see how the frequency response of op amp in case of uncompensated and compensated op amp is look like. So let's begin with the topic. Frequency response is basically nothing but the graph between open loop gain of the op amp and frequency. So let's have a look of frequency response of op amp. In frequency response of op amp, we are going to consider the open loop gain of op amp on y axis which is expressed in terms of dB and frequency on x axis which is taken in the logarithmic scale. In case of op amp, there are two types of op amp that means uncompensated op amp and compensated op amp. These types are based on the presence or absence of internal capacitance in the op amp. Now we know that the open loop gain of op amp is do not depend on the frequency. Practically it is not possible. The open loop gain changes with respect to frequency. So let's first have a look of uncompensated frequency response of op amp. In case of uncompensated op amp, the internal capacitance is not present. Therefore, there are more than one break frequency which makes the circuit unstable. Now, the, in case of uncompensated op amp, the frequency depends upon the number of stages. Individual stage having different frequency response and based on that, there are different break frequencies. Now, if we look at the graph properly, then we can see that F1, F2, F3 are the different break frequency present in case of uncompensated op amp. From the frequency F1 to F2, the gain of op amp is reduces by minus 20 dB per decade. From the frequency range F2 to F3, the gain is get reduced by minus 40 dB per decade. And from F3 to F4, the gain is get reduced by minus 60 dB per decade and so on. So these multiple break frequency makes the op amp circuit unstable. Therefore, it is very much important in order to make the op amp circuit stable, we require to have one break frequency. And for that purpose, we require a compensating network for uncompensated op amp. Now let's have a look of frequency response of compensated op amp. In case of compensated op amp, the external capacitor is connected so that we can have only one break frequency and op amp become a compensated one. Therefore, the technique which is used to convert multiple break frequency into single break frequency is called as frequency compensation of op amp. In case of op amp 741C, the internal capacitor of 30 picofarad is used in order to make only one break frequency. Now, if we look at the frequency response of compensated op amp, then we can have F0 as only one break frequency. Therefore, the multiple break frequencies are get converted into one fre break frequency F0 which makes the circuit compensated and we can have only one frequency response. Now, if we, if we compare two diagrams properly, then we will come to know that the bandwidth of uncompensated op-amp is more as compared to bandwidth of compensated op-amp. But the compensated op-amp are more stable in operation as compared to uncompensated op-amp. So this is what about the compensation of frequency in case of op-amp 741C. The compensation can be achieved by using the internal capacitor of 30 picofarad. So I hope you understand the topic of frequency compensation of op-amp. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.